Hi guys! So today I am doing a tutorial on this unicorn pattern. I posted this picture on Instagram and you guys went crazy for it, which I definitely don't blame you for because look how cute this pattern is. But yeah, this bracelet is super long, so we're just going to jump right into this pattern. As always, to make this bracelet, you're going to need some embroidery floss. You'll need three colors, one for the background, one for the color of your horse, and then one for like the hair color and the horn color and everything. For the background color, you're going to cut four strings of the background color, and I cut mine super long. You're going to want a lot of string for this. I think I did almost double my wingspan, so just go ahead and cut super long strings and just fold those in half. For the color of your horse, you're just going to cut two strings, and I cut these strings a little bit shorter than my background color, so a little longer than your wingspan will probably be good. Then for the color of the hair and the mane, that's the same thing, and the horn, I meant to say, just cut one string at a wingspan's length. Um, this does not need to be super long, so I just did a wingspan. And you're just going to fold all of your strings in half and just group them together. From here, you can start this however you would like. I have a more in-depth video on how to do this, and that is linked in the description box. Once your bracelet is started, go ahead and tape it down. I did a full pattern just to show you guys what it will look like, but this is how your strings should be set up. It goes hair, background, body, background, body, background, hair, background, body, background body background 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 and this is a one two pattern so we're going to go ahead and pair up our strings my first row is going to be all backward knots For row two, we're going to leave out our outer two strings. This row is also going to be all backward knots. For row three, we're going to bring back in our outer two strings. My first two pairs are going to be backward forward knots. And then my remaining five pairs are going to be backward knots. For the fourth row, we're going to leave out our outer two strings. First two pairs are going to be forward backward knots. My third and fourth pairs are going to be backward forward knots. My fifth pair is going to be a forward backward knot. And my final pair is a backward forward knot. 
For the fifth row, we're going to bring back in our outer two strings. First two pairs are going to be backward forward knots. Third pair is going to be a forward backward knot. Fourth pair is a backward forward knot. Fifth pair is a backward knot. And my final two pairs are forward knots. For the sixth row, we're going to leave out our outer two strings. My first four pairs are going to be forward backward knots. And then my final two pairs are forward knots. For the seventh row, I'm going to bring back in my outer two strings. My first two pairs are backward forward knots. Then my remaining five pairs are going to be all backward knots. For row 8, I'm going to be leaving out my outer two strings. First pair is a forward-backward knot. Second pair is a forward knot. Third pair is a backward knot. Fourth pair is a forward knot. And my final two pairs are backward knots. For my ninth row, I'm going to bring back in my outer two strings. My first two pairs are forward backward knots. My third pair is a forward knot. My fourth and fifth pairs are backward knots. And my final two pairs are forward backward knots. For the 10th row, we're going to leave out our outer two strings. My first two pairs are forward-backward knots. And my remaining four pairs are going to be backward knots.
For the 11th row, I'm going to bring back in my outer two strings. My first three pairs are forward-backward knots. And my remaining four pairs are backward knots. For the 12th row, I'm going to be leaving out my outer two strings. My first three pairs are forward knots. And my final three pairs are backward forward knots. For the 13th row, I'm going to bring back in my outer two strings. My first four pairs are going to be forward-backward knots. And my last three pairs are going to be backward knots. For the 14th row, I'm going to leave out my outer two strings. My first four pairs are going to be backward knots. And my final two pairs are going to be backward forward knots. For the 15th row, I'm going to bring back in my outer two strings. My first three pairs are forward backward knots. And my remaining four pairs are going to be forward knots. For the 16th row, I'm going to leave out my outer two strings. My first two pairs are forward-backward knots. My third pair is a forward knot. Then my final three pairs are backward knots.
for the 17th row, I'm going to bring back in my outer two strings. My first two pairs are forward backward knots. Then my remaining five pairs are all backward knots. For the 18th row, I'm going to leave out my outer two strings. My first pair is a forward knot. My next two pairs are backward forward knots. And my remaining three pairs are all backward knots. For my 19th row, I'm going to bring back in my outer two strings. My first three pairs are forward knots. And my last four pairs are all backward forward knots. And for the 20th and final row, I'm going to be leaving out my outer two strings, and I forgot to pair up all my strings again, but this entire row is just forward-backward knots. So that was this unicorn bracelet. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. From here, you can go ahead and just repeat the pattern from row one, and that is the bracelet. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.